web equivalent for IBC web encryption is the oldest and also the easiest one to break. A web encryption uses an algorithm called Ravis Cipher 4, where each packet is encrypted at the access point and then sent out into the air. Now, once the client receives it, the client will be able to decrypt the packet and read the information inside of it since the client has the key. Basically, the access point encrypt the packet and send it, and then the client receive and decrypt it. In the same way, when the client itself sends the packet, the client encrypts it and then send it out, and the AP receives it and decrypt it, decrypt it with a key. Each packet that is sent out has a unique key stream. Wave ensures that the key stream is unique by using a 24-bit initialization vector. The IV, that is initialization vector, is a random number that is sent into each packet in plain text, which is not encrypted. If we read the packet, we'll be able to... Our main goal when we try to crack uh, WEP is to collect as many IVs as we can because when we have a large number of IVs, we will end up with two packets that use the same IV and aircrack NG will likely uh, be able to determine the key stream and the WEP key for the target network. Now, uh, WEP is an obsolete technology, so it is no longer used to scale Wi-Fi networks. Now, we come to the uh, Wi-Fi protected access, WPA and WPA2. Now, in WPA, each packet is encrypted using a unique temporary key. It means that the number of data packets that you collect is irrelevant. Even if we were able to collect a 1 million packet, these packets are not useful because they do not contain any information that can help us to crack the, the WPA key. The WPA, WPA2 is the same. It works with the same method and it can be cracked using the same method. The only difference between the WPA and the WPA2 is that the WPA2 uses an algorithm called counter mode cipher block chaining message authentication code protocol that is CCMP for encryption. The only packet that can contain information that can help us determine the key are the handshake packet. These are four packets sent when a new device or a new client connects to the target network. For example, when we are at home and our device connects to the network, we have the password and a process called a poor-way handshake happens when the device and the a uh, between the device and the access point. Now in this process, poor packet called handshake packet get transferred between the two devices to authenticate the device connection. Using aircrack ng, we can use a word list testing each password in the word list against the handshake. To crack the WPA encrypted networks, we need two things. We need to capture the handshake and we need a word list that contains the passwords.